Hey, up, good day, everybody. This is Sports Sound News. I'm Joe Boric. Please continue to subscribe down below to keep us growing to our next goal of 300 or more. This is going to be on the Rangers getting two players, one key cog, which is Vincent Trocek replacing, it seems, Ryan Strom and Andrew Kopp, who already moved on to the Detroit Red Wing. But when it comes to Vincent Trocek, he got 39.375 for seven years, which equates to 5.625 per year. That honestly is a really good contract for Trocek. Trocek, if I'm not mistaken, I think is age 29. Yeah, 29 this year. So still, um, probably five of at least those seven years will be very good on that contract. So it seems like it's a good signing for sure. As they got a guy that they believe, obviously fits into their system systematically more, or they feel he's more in that pay scale than an Andrew Kopp. Who knows why they would have rather moved on from Kopp in the $5 million something pay scale rather than having Trocek. It could also be because Kopp's more of a swing winger um, center, where Trocek is more of a steady center. I would think that's more the reality and the beast of the situation there. And then they're also going to move on from Ryan Strom, and he'll go elsewhere. I don't think he signed yet uh, because of this contract, one would think. Uh, Trocek is back in the neighboring city to where he's from, or the neighboring state to where he's from. He is from Pittsburgh, so that's kind of cool for him too, but I think this is a good signing for the Rangers, and the Rangers on top of that got behind one of the best goalies in the league, uh, Ilya Shosturkin, or Igor Shosturkin, excuse me, I was thinking of Ilya Samsonov, um, Igor Shosturkin, they have now Yaroslav Halak, who's just your prototypical backup goaltender, because just like Tampa does with Vazzy, if you're in New York, you don't need a guy like Gorgiev, for example, that's going to play, that can play a handful of games as your backup because it's just Sturkin's going to play most of the um, season just like a guy like Vasilevsky plays most of the season. So I think getting a Halak as a backup, according to Frank Cervelli, that's who they brought in, plus also getting Vincent Trocek. You have to give them an A for those moves because all they need is a Yari Halak type backup, save the money there, spend it elsewhere. And they already did spend it elsewhere, bringing in Vincent Trocek, who seemed like he was kind of a target of the Rangers in the rumor mill for a while, um, rounding out the season since it seemed like Strom was going to go elsewhere for a bit now, and then Cop was kind of the wild card. What are they going to do with him? And then when he went to Detroit, Trocek kind of fell into place even more for the New York Rangers. But this has been a quick video on Vincent Trocek coming to the Rangers for seven years. At a good AAV value, I think at least five of those seven years would be golden for him. And then Yaroslav Halak coming in as their backup netminder. Seems like a good move on both sides for the Rangers because all you need is a Yari Halak type backup when you have Shesterkin. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and please continue to subscribe.